hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net core and today i'm going to show you the next video uh, or you can say the next part of uh, online examination system and in this project i am going to show you uh, some uh, action methods uh, that is remaining in a student uh, controller so that is the post action method of attend exam after uh, filling the attend exam uh, view model just pass uh, to the uh, database table uh, so save the data uh, after filling the data uh, by the student so just pull result student service dot set exam result attend exam view model and uh, return redirect to action student service dot set exam result i mean to say that uh, after giving the exam you can set the exam results uh, by that mean okay so public i action result that is the next method is a result string student id on the basis of the student id you, you can get the st uh, student result so variable model student service dot get exam results on the basis of uh, student id so just convert it first of all convert dot to integer 32 and the student id and after getting uh, uh, the model just return a view model okay and uh, the next method <coughs> that is the i action result view results that is the uh, login view model first of all check uh, particular user in the uh, session so http context dot session dot get uh, login view model and in which you can pass login vm similarly you you know uh, in a previous videos if a session object is not equals to null then a user can view the results so where model equals to student service dot get exam results and uh, integer uh, student id you, uh, session object dot id because the, uh, there is that is the uh, student id you can say so return view model okay and after that if it is null the session is null so redirect to action what that is the login just uh, pass to the login functionality uh, of account controller okay <coughs> so the next thing is uh, i action result i action result profile uh, student profile maintain so login view model first of all session object um, http context dot session dot get login view model and in which you can pass login vm okay and if a session object is not equals to null that is the simple thing you can do in your uh, asp.net core object by using session okay uh, so uh, converted uh, session object as a student id so if uh, model dot picture file name is not equals to null i mean to say that if you want to set the picture picture file name so model dot picture file name is not equals to null i mean to say that we have a new picture get it from uh, browser so just set the model dot picture file name equals to configuration manager dot get file path uh, plus model dot picture file name so actually uh, where you get uh, the information from uh, of the um, picture uh, of the profile pictures so configuration manager uh, is a static class just uh, i will implement it later okay so just remove that it's not uh, including in the uh, in existing class you can say that uh, all already we have a class uh, namespace microsoft dot but uh, do not use it here so just set it uh, get file path is a method is a static method in the configuration manager i will uh, i will create it that class so and after that we have uh, you have to create a model dot picture file name okay so the so now the next thing you can do uh, first of all add create a new static class in the project so generate class where is generated uh, class 
actually uh, that class is not existing in the uh, root folder that class is existing in the controller folder i think yeah there is but we have an internal class so just remove that and uh, just paste or you can say just a newly created class in the root folder okay so just add a new class and the class name is configuration manager you know and uh, that class is must to use static class so in the constructor uh, first of all create a uh, i configuration uh, variable private variable i configuration manager sorry i configuration configuration and first of all initialize the configuration variable with the null so just add a new static constructor in the class so pub, uh, static configuration manager that is the con uh, static constructor and uh, in which you can call that is configuration equals to new configuration builder dot set base by uh, set base file path set base path equals to what is the base path that is get it from the directory so directory actually exists in the system dot io okay So uh, the new configuration builder is set a base path directory dot get current directory uh, that is the directory and uh, assigned in the JSON file. So uh, JSON file that uh, add as a JSON file and that is already available in the root folder that is app, app settings dot JSON file dot build. Okay. So uh, public static uh, new method uh, that is a get file path. And the file path is the configuration and in which uh, you can say custom keys colon base URL and the base URL plus uh, the directory name is the file that is uh, available in your uh, WW root folder. So just uh, come to the section in the app settings dot session file and add the custom keys new property uh, new field in the app settings dot session file so uh, custom keys uh, with the base url uh, so just add the base url base url and where is the base url exist uh, base url exist in your uh, debug and your properties of your uh, Mm, web application in your uh, in your uh, you can say the root uh, URL so uh, the base URL or you can say the app URL just copy that and uh, paste in your app settings dot session file in the in in place of custom keys so just copy that and uh, paste it here that is uh, localhost colon uh, 51227 is the port number so uh, that thing is cool and after that uh, come to the section of profile action method and you can see that uh, error is removed configuration manager dot get file path and dot model dot picture file name and uh, here you can add some methods like a model dot cv file name and the cv file name is existing in configuration manager dot get file path okay and uh, model dot cv file name okay that's fine and after that uh, you can say that return a view model dot model okay so and after that you have to add a return a redirect to action so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which are related to online examination and I will run uh, that project in later videos. Thank you very much for watching.